first and foremost, I'm gonna give first and foremost, I wanna give all praises. My bad, bro. It's all good, brother. There we go. Alright. <laughs> first and foremost. <laughs> yeah. First and foremost, I wanna give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Right? Peace and blessings to you brothers out there carrying this word out sincerity and in faith. You know, we out here pushing the word, you know, and to the most high redeemers, man, to the most high bring back recompense for his for his children. Now, you know, you know, we getting into uh let me pull this one. You know, we getting into you know brothers that's not making a not making a distinction you know what i mean in you know what man because you know you got some brothers that, that that believe that oh well that's not israel this is not israel based off of outer appearance yeah, you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. but look what happened the so-called white man spread his seed okay uh. that's the that's the parable of the tares and the wheat right there okay but it's not about uh these endless genealogies man Give me uh first Timothy chapter four. I mean, yeah, chapter four. And um uh, let's see. No or not, that's 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 I'm gonna say, let me find it real quick. Alright, that's gonna be Okay, let's get uh, verse four. First, uh, chapter one, First Timothy chapter one, verse four. So this is this, this gonna put a nail in. It's gonna put a nail in the coffin of those brothers that that be looking at the outer appearance. Go ahead, brother. First Timothy, chapter one, verse four. Neither give heed to fables. Never. Neither give heed to fables. That's that's lies. That's stories, right? That's huh. stories. So we do that in the church with all of this different doctrines concerning, oh, the so-called white man can be saved and the wicked, uh, you know, the, the kingdom has already come. We already, we can be saved right now. Like the We're brother saved. Said, like, like the brother said when we were at the park talking about uh, the, the law is in your heart. Come on now. <laughs> well, 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 yeah. You know, the law, the law is going to be in our, it's not in, it's not in the hearts of these people. You know what yet. I mean? And, and he come up with a beer in his hand. Go ahead. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies. What? Wait, hold on. To heed to endless genealogy, genes, genetics, right? It's not the outer appearance, man. Huh. It's not about the outer appearance. Huh. It's about what? The faith that you have. You know what I mean? Believing that you are the sons of God based off of this, this off of this truth. Huh. Go ahead. Which minister questions rather than godly edifying. That's right. So if you got the truth, you understand the truth, you believe in the truth, you happy at the coming of the most of the most high son, most high uh, son, Yahweh, the Redeemer, you happy at his appearing, then guess what? It's possible you might be a child of the, mo of the, of the most high, but you know, there are some who are going to cleave to Israel you know uh -huh. what I mean? Other nations that will cleave to Israel, but guess what? At the end of the day, who gonna do the separate? Yeah, the Most High. That's right. You know, that's what's gonna happen because he knows. He knows his sheep. You know, he knows those that are his, man. Uh -huh. But 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 the problem is not you look like this and you look like that. The problem lies in 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 uh, uh, the deeds of our people, uh -huh. the deeds of our brethren. Give me Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. It's the deeds of our people, man. Matthew 4 and 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, mm -hmm. by, by, but by off, so I can, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahweh. So you heard that, brother? The scriptures say, Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceed out of the mouth of Yahweh. Okay? But you know what we learn? You turn on the radio, brother. Turn on the radio and see what happens. You got a lot. You got a lot of madness. Hey sis, sis, let me ask you a question. Quick question. Quick question. Alright, so look. 
when you when you when you turn on the radio what do you hear a bunch of folly a bunch of madness a bunch of you know directing by the wicked the wicked come past the righteous so what wrong judgment proceeds so what's happening the wicked is controlling you on what you should think and what you should do the way you should approach this system of oppression okay and they teach you that unlawful profit is the way of life Give me uh, Proverbs chapter 31, verse 9. Let me get this Isaiah 5 and 20 first. Let me get this Isaiah 5 and 20. Okay. So, so we got to wake up in these last days, man. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness forth for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's right. So, 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 that is what our people are being taught in a system of oppression to put light for darkness and sweet for bitter. Hate your own brother in your heart. Walk away from your brother. Have a wicked, have wicked eyes towards your brother. Okay, and think that you're doing the righteous thing. But look, what the scriptures say? It's 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 a uh, a, a generation that call themselves pure. It's a generation that call themselves pure. So give me Proverbs chapter uh, 31 verse 9. And then give me Mark 8 and 36. We think we pure. How you pure when you hate your brother in your heart? How you pure when you see your people being slaughtered and you want to sit here, oh, I'm, not, I'm not this, I'm not that. Okay? And you get dealt with the same way at work and you come up with a coping mechanism to deal with your oppressors. How in the world are you pure? How in the world are you, are you have, do you have understanding? Carrying on like this, go ahead. Proverbs 31, verse nine. Here it is. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Come on now, judge righteously. Plead the cause of the poor and needy, right? And we are definitely poor because we don't know the judgment of the Most High God. Come. The judgment of the Most High God is that he's gonna destroy our enemies. Huh. The judgment of the Most High God, uh, the Most High God says that uh, uh, us seeking recompense from what our enemies have done is a righteous thing. Okay, give me uh, Mark chapter eight verse thirty-six. So called white man, bill collectors. <laughs> yep, they be blowing me up too. Come on, man. Mark chapter eight verse thirty-six. Go ahead. For what shall it profit a man? If he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul. Come on. What is it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? But what they teach you on the radio. Hate your brother in your heart. Get that money. Do whatever. Do what you got to do to survive by any means necessary. Right? Right? But you don't want to follow this word by any means necessary. The Most High God uh, told his, uh, teach, taught his son. And what did his son say? Hunger and thirst for righteousness so you can be filled. Huh. But we, want, we don't want to do that thing. We don't want to do that thing. Brother, you understand what I'm talking about? All praises. All right? We got to wake up in these last days. Okay? Give me uh, 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 Isaiah 48 and 17. So the scriptures say, What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? What does it profit a man? You feel like you're profiting in Babylon the Great. Okay? But you're not. You're not, you have no problem, you have no advantage here, right? We desire to have and have not, go ahead. Isaiah 48, chapter 17. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, thy the Holy One of, thy Redeemer, huh? the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord, Yahweh, hmm. which teaches the prophet, which leadeth thee by the way thou shouldest go. Read that again. I am the Lord Yahweh, which teacheth thee to profit. To what? Which teacheth, teacheth thee to profit. So you profit based off of what? The words of the Most High God, the, the directing of the Most High God. That's how you profit. But now, righteousness, it stands afar off. You know what I mean? Huh? Wrong, ju wrong judgment preceded. Righteousness and equity stands afar off in this land. So what is it that's going to profit you? Righteousness. Departing from this wicked way of... of go ahead, give me Romans chapter 12, verse 2. You know, I'm tired of playing, bro. And you know, people want to deal with us in a wicked way, man. 
we out here pushing the word. Let us be out here selling drugs. That you know, they want to come gather around, receive from what what we sell. Go ahead. If we was fighting, if we was fighting, y'all be watching. It'd be cameras. If we was out here fighting, y'all be like, yeah, that's what black men should be doing, killing each other, beating each other down. Romans chapter twelve. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed, transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's right. And how you gonna renew your mind with the teachings of Babylon? How you gonna renew your mind with uh, going in a way that seemeth right, but at the end thereof is death? Go ahead, give me that one. Uh, Proverbs, are you finished with that one? No. Yeah. Transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good, that is, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. Come on now. Now, you know what? Give me Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10 and 11. Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. So we're going to find out what's good and acceptable. Go ahead. And that ye may put and that ye may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean and clean. That's verse 11. Con. And that ye may teach the children of Israel so all the stat. You may teach the children of who? Israel. All right. All the statutes which the Lord has spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. Now go back to that Isaiah 5 and 20. Let's do that one again. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Come on now. But well, we, we, hey. We want to fight. We want to fight against this truth, man. We want to fight against this truth. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. It's time to wake up, man. How time for our people to wake up, okay? The so-called white man has murdered, killed, pillaged, raped, robbed, okay? And then he's a, hip he's a hypocrite. Yeah, that's right. He's a hypocrite. The so-called white man is a hypocrite. He want to kill my brothers. So-called white man want to kill my brothers. The so-called white man want to want to want to get into the minds of the people and say, "Oh no, the black man ain't doing nothing but coming to kill, murder you, steal everything you got." When that's what the so-called white man do. Been doing. That's what the so-called white man do and has been doing. But what they try to tell you, they they their voice walking through the earth. That's in Psalms chapter seventy-three. The voice of the wicked walking through the earth, what they doing? Spreading that Western civilization. Spreading that homosexuality even to the other nations. Other nations like, nah, we don't want that over here, buddy. You know, move around. But guess what? So-called white man, that's what he all that's all he wanna do. Destroy everything that's natural and good. Why are you eating GMO foods? You can't even answer me these things. But you wanna hate your brother in your heart. We gotta wake up, y'all. What I tell you to get, bro? Isaiah 30. All right, go ahead. One of my favorite ones. Yeah. Here it is, y'all. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not. Unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to seize from before us. That's right. But that's what our people, hey, in our actions, that's what our people are saying. Get from around us. Don't tell us right things. Don't talk to us about justice. Don't tell us about how our young men are, 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 are going to be killed in the streets by the so-called, by our enemies who we love. Don't tell us about our enemies. Don't tell us about our oppressors. You know, that's who we get our bread and our wheat from. That's where we get our oil from. That's where we get all of our riches from. Guess what? That's a curse. All right? That's a cursed thing. And the most I want you to mourn, cry out for him. All right? To him. Right? So -called, the so-called white man is a devil. And our people are being led astray, being led captive. All right? You got something? Let me finish up. Go ahead. Chapter, verse 12. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel. Right. Because ye despise this word. Because you what? Despise this word. Come on now. And trust in oppression. Trust in oppression. And perverseness. And perverseness. And stay thereon. Huh. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you 
as a breach ready to fall. That's right. Swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking coming suddenly and in an instant. See, hey, that's what's gonna happen. When a so-called white man come in like a flood, cause he does plan on getting rid of us, okay? Cause he getting rid of us slowly. We dying a slow death, but the so-called white man gonna come and what? Go up to uh, uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 30 verse one. So the so-called white man gonna come in suddenly and destroy you, and then you're gonna get hit with the uh, with the nuclear uh, missiles. Come on. Cause Vladimir Putin, he ready to push that button. That's the weapon of the Lord's. That's the fiery indignation of the Lord. That's the device of the Lord. He gonna uh, execute judgment with that device. Come on. All right, go ahead. Isaiah 30, from the top. Woe to the rebellious children, said Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me. Oh, you ain't taking counsel of the Most High God. When you hear the brothers out here preaching, what the, what the scripture say? You despise the word. You despise the, despise the law, okay? You despise the ordinance of the Most High God. Huh. We don't like order. We huh. wanna we wanna do all those things that are uh, uh, given are, are given to us by our oppressors. Oh yeah, you can drink to your to your drop, drink to your die. Hey, it's a people out there that's gonna sell you drugs. Dr you know, take the drugs. It's a, hey, you you can come over here and make this amount of money oppressing your people. Come on, be a cop. Come on, come work at the border. Come on, you, we do we uh, take part in evil things in evil ways. Huh? Because of the oppressor. Okay, go ahead. So but we not of me. Go ahead. And that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. That they may add sin to sin. That's right. And, and, and what is sin? Transgression of the law. That's right. Sin is transgression of the law. Okay? That's 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. And we transgress in the law of the Most High God. And we affirm what the law means. We know the knowledge behind the law. Huh. Okay? Yo, hey, so listen. Listen to hear this. They say black men want to steal, kill their own people, right? They say the black man.